Hello everyone, here we are. We are on the road to Baccarat. Or on the road to Viridian City, I'm not entirely sure which, but... Oh, look at that, hello. Let's go, let's fight. Let's do this thing. Raging Rooster. Damn it! Sap doesn't work on anything in this game. We're on the road to Viridian City. Yes, that is a song that the Pokemon series came out with. I think I got two people at 50. I'm not going to bother for 100. I'm just going to attack him now. Multi fists, attack, psych up, spell. It was after they finished the Poke Rap, you are correct. Oh, he survived! But can he survive Yangus? We will find out. He could not survive Yangus. <laughs> A copper monster coin, alright. Bird family. All right, let's fine. Come on, you can join my monster team. Foul, foul joins Cesare's team. Oh, come back here! What the fuck you doing? Jeez, I just want to pummel you into the ground. Okay, Jessica wanted nothing to do with you guys. Apparently needed its ass away. Well, they don't give as much EXP in this as they did in 7. That's too bad. There's another new monster I saw around here. I don't see him anymore. There he is. Jumping Jackals. These guys were assholes in six. They're often very quick monsters, too. Do jackals really need Wolverine claws? That's a good question. I assume technically they don't need them, but they decided to give them to them because they're jerks. <laughs> they seem vicious enough as jackals. It's a jackal, a jackal, a jackal, it's a jackal! If it wasn't right the first ten times you said it, why the hell would it be right the next ten times? I guess this is where I'm supposed to say, Welcome to Baccarat, home of the world's biggest casino! But the casino's closed right now, and isn't gonna be open, reopen anytime soon. It's cause you guys are jerks and don't want me to get the items. A man named Golding owns and runs this casino, but he ordered it shut down the other day. The odd thing is, no one's seen hide nor hair of him since. What's going on? The day before the casino shut down, a burglar broke into Golding's mansion. Golding's been holed up ever since. I wonder if he was hurt during the break-in. 
I have a friend who works as one of Golding's family bodyguards. He just dropped by to pay me a visit. He said he was leaving for some place called the Dark Ruins, but no matter how hard I press, he wouldn't tell me why. Hmm? Where are the Dark Ruins? I don't have a clue. Maybe you should ask around in the pub or the hotel basement. Got it. Different <laughs> family guy is funny, yes. Cash and Carrie are adopted. They were wards of the church who Golding took in and raised as his own. As children, they used to get along like peas in a pod. But as they got older, things changed. Now they see each other as rivals. Personally, I think it's because they lost their parents once already, so they compete for Golding's attention. Strong medicine. Let's get those mini medals. Yeah. What we got here? It's a book entitled The Magic of Cheese. Making special cheeses requires the preparation of special ingredients. For example, try combining plain cheese with magic water for a special result. Namely, a cheese that contains the power of magic water. Isn't that special? So that's a new recipe for the alchemy. Chunky cheese equals plain cheese plus magic water. Chunky cheese. It's almost like Chucky cheese. Is that like Chucky cheese for obese children? No question about it, the casino shut down the day after Golding's mission with mansion was burgled. The burglar may have picked the right, right house, but he sure picked the wrong man. Golding once took down a bear with his bare hands. Of all the rotten luck, I took a holiday to visit the casino and then find it shut down. Aw, oh, you can just still enjoy the scenic view. This is the takeout counter, we've got plenty of room inside. Best food in back, right? Go on and give us a try. Okay, let's do that. Oh yeah, Phil, you'll also find that I try to talk to everyone as well. Pickham's a filthy place, full of jifters and grifters. You couldn't pay me to go there. I've been there. Pickham was a nice place. I always have a few with Golding after work, but he hasn't showed up at the pub in it for days now. Some are saying he got hurt during the robbery the other day. I wonder if that's true. They say Golding put up quite a fight with the burglar who broke into his mansion the other night. It seems he drove the scoundrel off, but he hasn't come out of his house. And the casino's been closed ever since. Throw in the barrels. Hey, cool cheese! Cheese with ice on top of it. It's really cool, actually. I've been on my feet for 12 hours straight! My legs are on fire! I wish I could serve customers sitting down all the agony. I'm sorry, sir, but you'll have to leave. Uh, the kitchen is in full swing, like a battlefield. You're liable to get hurt. Speaking of kitchen being in full swing and getting hurt, I... I'm going to talk to this. Hello there, let me show you your seat. What's that? You're looking for someone? Well, if that's the case, I'd recommend talking to the bartender in the hotel pub. He knows all sorts of things. The Omega say, that's an odd name for you. Why are you after him? What? He's a murderer? Well, I'll be. Um, in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, I realized there's a Dream Eater. That's a frog that uses a pot lid as a shield and a skillet as a weapon. And it throws little fireballs and has a little dark uh, chef's hat on. It's fantastic. That statue is supposed to be of some ancient sage. Golden wanted to knock it down when he built the casino and hotel. But all of these workers kept getting injured. Everyone was deathly afraid of the thing. That's why it's still standing here, pristine and untouched. Where the fuck is the end if I... Isn't that the end? Golding, the owner of the casino, has two kids, a son named Cash and a younger daughter named Carrie. Ever since the casino was shut down, they've locked themselves in the mansion along with their father. This is Mr. Golding's mansion? I'm afraid Mr. Golding isn't seeing visitors at the moment. Please come again some other time. The strange gesture showed up the night before the casino got shut down. He was walking around muttering, What a pity, what a pity. Really gave me a case of the willies. Yeah, so 
32 gold coins. Alright, let's go in this house here. Cash and carry. Little tiny house, buddy. There's no love lost between Golding's adopted son and daughter, let me tell you. When Golding passes away, mark my word, there's going to be one heck of a battle over the inheritance. I don't doubt that. I do not doubt that at all. Hey, see the strength. Cool. It's a book entitled Tips for Assassins. There are many kinds of weapons in this world, but it goes without saying that the most famous one in the Assassin's Armory is the Assassin's Dagger. They're quite easy to make by combining a sharp dagger with something poisonous. Assassin's discovers a recipe for the pot. Assassin's Dagger equals Eagle Dagger plus Poison Needle. Yeah. Take a picture of the slime statue. Alright, what do we got for weapons here? Got poison needle. There's some more coral horsemen. Some light shields. Iron armor. Don't I already have iron armor? Maybe I don't. I picked uh, up a set already, though. Steel scythe. Give me a sec here. I knew I had it. Okay, steel scythe. What can I turn the steel scythe into? Pretty sure there's something. Uh, edge boomerang, wing a bat, and steel scythe turn into a razor wing boomerang. Actually, I might do that. get a hell scythe from it as well. Alright. Well, I'll pick one up for now and come back for another one later. Also need two... S s s yeah. Okay. There you go. Get one for Yangus. There we go. And we're gonna get a steel scythe. Coral hairpin. It's actually better for Jessica, so I'll equip her with that now. Where the fuck did it go? There it is. Alright, so let me go back into my bag here, and we're going to give Cesare back his Holy Lance. Oops, I don't want to use it. Oops, I didn't want to equip it. Oh well. Uh, we're going to give him back his... Steel Broadsword. Alright, so where's my edged boomerang? Be in here somewhere. There it is. Let's do some alchemy. It's boomerang, wing of bat, and we're gonna go with our new steel scythe. There we go. Hang on a sec. There you go. Let's see what we get. There we go, a razor wing boomerang. King that around only. Okay. The razor wing boomerang can be used to make the metal wing boomerang. Ooh. 
Super Mario Kart itu. There we go. Yeah, sure, we'll equip it. I'll walk around with this on my back for a bit. It's probably a little stronger than my basic attack anyway. Alright, so the casino is in fact closed. Just as we suspected. Oh, it's not night time. I hear that the night before the casino got shut down, the owner's mansion was burgled. If you ask me, if the casino getting shut down has something to do with the robbery, call it a hunch. I don't really think it's a hunch when that's literally everyone, every, everything everyone's talking about. Hey, another mini metal. Excellent. Dumagus? What, did you hear that name? If you, are you in league with him, that scoundrels? No, I suppose you wouldn't be. Sorry, it's just that we're all on edge after the break-in at Golding's Mansion. Mm -hmm. Why is the casino closed? Well, it's because Cash and Car- I mean, Golding. It's because Golding ordered it. I'm sure he thought a long and hard about it, too. Well, open the casino up. I've got gambling I want to do. The door is locked. I got a magic key, come on. Must be locked with an ultimate key. Let's go inside this house and see what this guy's hoarding. I saw some of Golding's men head out of town in full battle gear a while ago. They left in the dead of night. It looks like they were out for blood. That's an interesting fact. Uh, no I don't, but thank you for letting me know. What the hell is a double bubble? A double bubble is an item that they, uh, recently gave out as a downloadable item. Uh, it, it basically doubles EXP and gold for uh, 10 battles. Oh, I found another bonus item. A piece of chili cheese? Oh, man. I'll have to show you guys what the chili cheese and that does later. Anyway. I don't think I went in here yet. Oh, I definitely did not. Did you hear what happened at Golding's Mansion? It takes real courage to go hand in hand with a burglar like that. What a great man to have as a father. Hey, did you hear the news? We just had a break in here in town. I don't know. What is the world coming to? That's a good question. What is the world coming to? I will be entering these rooms and checking the contents of everyone's stuff to make sure that they don't have any of the burgled goods. This bathroom looks secure. Uh -oh. Okay, so tell me what happened the other day. The suspense is killing me! Alright, alright already. But you've got to keep this under your hat, okay? This is between you and me. Mm, I swear I won't say a word. We barmen know when to keep our mouths shut. By the goddess, lower your voice. I assume you've heard about Mr. Golding's house being burgled. Well, the fact is, Mr. Golding was murdered during the robbery. Murdered! 
You mean Mr. Golding is dead? I told you to keep it down. That's why nobody's seen hide nor hair of him recently. He isn't among the living anymore. But Mr. Golding was such a big man. You're trying to tell me he was killed by a random burglar? Well, the really weird thing about it was that the burglar was apparently dressed as a jester. I didn't see him myself, mind you, but that's what they say. A jester, huh? A strange one, this burglar. Seems he broke in, killed Mr. Golding, and left. He didn't take anything valuable. From the looks of it, he was after Mr. Golding's life, not his gold. I also heard that Cash and Carrie have ordered some men to find the jester and avenge their father's death. By the goddess, this is big... Oh, I won't tell a soul. You can count on me. I'd better get back to my customers. See you later. Gah! I'm sorry, I, I did not see you standing there. <gasps> did you... Did you hear what we were talking about? Oh, forgive me for the strange question. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. <laughs> Indeed. You fucking asshole. What's this guy doing? I'm sorry, but I can't let you through. This door connects to the casino and... What? You heard everything the bartender and I were saying before? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. He'll tell you the same thing. Alright, once again. Uh, Sasuke the ninja hiding behind walls. Yes. That's what I am. Actually, I do play ninja in my uh, RPGs and such. Dancer's costume! Why can't I mix the dancer's costume with again? I forget. Dancer... Find next. Magic beast hide. That's not what I care about. Silver mail. Okay, so once I can buy silver mail, I can mix it and get... Uh, get dancer's mail. Pretty sure I could buy silver mail soon, actually. Nothing on the roof? It's a pretty inconvenient uh, place to have a door, right, too, because there's, there's nothing on it, so if it, whenever it rains, the inside of this place is just going to get soaked. Alright, let's see here. Golding used to come and watch Bunny Girl shows all the time! But he hasn't shown up in a while. I wonder if the rumors are true. Uh, rumors about him getting hurt in the robbery are true. Uh, Bunny. Hang on. I want to see something. I already got the bunny ears. Oh, I need self busier to make a uh, bunny suit. Excuse me, but do you know when the ladies will be taking it all off? What? What do you mean? This isn't that kind of place. Fucking pervert. Young ladies really jiggle all over when they start to dance. It's a uh, fascinating. Oh, they're fucking pervert. Oh, those luscious young thighs! Goddess, help me! My life is passing before my eyes. All right. Well, oh, there's plenty of room for everyone. Just look at the size of them. I want to dive in and swim. What the? F You know how I have a kanji study app, which is pretty hard, and I kept getting Fs on the quizzes? I finally got an A last night. Indeed. Someone tell that moron to get down in front. I can't see the stage. There's a priest here! Oh, merciful goddess, pardon my sin. I was so enchanted by these lovely ladies that I forgot to offer my daily prayer. That's not good, bud. I really want to get even closer to the stage, but I've got a repetition to uphold. I always come here to undermine after a hard day's work. Come, Zath, shake that thing. Oh, wait, are they actually switching positions? Oh, there. Huh. More choreography than I expected. Ah, and more psychodescence. Phew! The button is finally back. I thought he'd be taking, talking to that friend of his at the hotel forever. Like ten people were looking for him. Well, he was gone, because he's the person you talk to if you need to know something. It's 
spent all the money I put aside for the casino here in the pub instead. Golding always used to say to us after he'd had a few. So long as I'm alive, I promise the world will stay at peace. Hmm? You heard everything we were talking about upstairs. What? Look, cut me some slack and don't tell anyone else, okay? If word gets around, I'll be in deep. Ahem, let me propose a deal. You keep your mouth shut and I promise I'll tell you what I know. What do you say? I knew I could count on you. Let me fill you in on what I know. Cash and Carrie sent a posse after the men who went to kill their father. They want revenge. And I hear they headed straight for some island north of Baccarat. Word is, there's some runes on the island. It'd make a perfect night out. Hmm. We can't be absolutely sure it was Jomegas who killed Golding. But I'm quite sure we can be sure enough to be sure. sure. Cool, blimey! Why don't we go and have a look at those ruins on the island to the north? Maybe we'll be able to find some kind of clue. Why don't you go look at the islands in life, you little sack of shit? Yeah, another mini metal. Alright, let's see what kind of dance these ladies are even doing. They're doing the side shuffle, the can can. Only using the one leg, too, they're not even using both legs. A side shuffle, twirl. Oh, they're shaking their rear. Look at that. And part of the Moogle dance. What do you think? I live for a chance to see Xanth, Xenia, and Xylia together. Just the sight of them warms my old bones. Oh, when will I get my big break? I tried to be... Uh, I tried out to be Simpleton's first ever bunny girl, but I couldn't tie, time the kicks right and kept falling off the stage. Another garter. Gotta need one of those. A uh, bunny tail. Cool. Nothing. Hi, I'm Xenia. I hope you're enjoying the show. Sir, please return to your seat. You're blocking the other customer's view. Just couldn't help yourself, huh? No problem, but remember, don't touch the merchandise! <laughs> oh, Welcome to our inquiry, travelers. You must be exhausted this late hour. Let me eight gold coins. Hang on. That's some more. Okay, that's the bank. There's also stuff back here to search. A non-gambler's guide to Baccarat. When one hears Baccarat, one inevitably thinks of casinos. But don't be fooled, there's more to the, this charming little town than gambling. Those who know Baccarat know that the town's secret treasure is none other than Golding Family Mansion. Golding is famed as an, a connoisseur of the fine and folk arts, and his spectacular collection is a must-see for any visitor to Baccarat. Once you've had your fill at the casino, take a breather at the Golding Mansion. He just lets you walk in into the Explorer's Mansion? That's kinda cool, I guess. Lots of mini metals. Got a lock on that? Too fucking bad. Oh man, they actually have saves back here. That's hilarious. Sleep complete. We need to get another edge boomerang, actually. That said, let's go find the uh, the church in that well. We'll do some searching around there before we end today's stream. There's the church. All right. Take it the well is down here. Yes. Naturally, we want to climb into the well. Anything worthwhile down here? 
Damn. Golding looks like a bear of a man, but he's actually quite kind-hearted. He took in two children who'd been abandoned at the church and raised them as his own. Alright, everyone. Uh, I gotta get ready for a meeting at work, so uh, that's where I'm gonna end the stream for today. But I will be back tomorrow from 12.30 to 2.30 EST. Um, yeah, so join me for more Dragon Quest Eight tomorrow. Uh, I think we're still doing Final Fantasy Explorers tomorrow night. And then uh, this weekend we should be back to our normal schedule of Final Fantasy XIV and Final Fantasy uh, XI on Sunday. So, thank you for viewing. Have a good one, everyone. We'll see you later.